Okay, so uh, I just picked up the Bobo, or ordered and received the Bobo VR headset. What it is is a VR, you know, phone holder VR headset, which has built-in headphones. And uh, yeah, so that that is the big draw for me. It has headphones built in. Has a decent FOV, depending on your phone size, it could differ. My phone is, I think, five inches, so it doesn't get the full advertised uh, FOV. But uh, once I upgrade, I think I will get a better, better, uh, bigger size phone. This is the box that it came in. He's so happy. Ooh, yes, I'm playing VR. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. he's probably looking at porn or something. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, um, so this is the headset. Uh, anything that comes in the box, just like a cloth to clean it with. Um, I don't know, not, not a hell of a lot. Just like, I think it was a cloth, cloth to clean it with. And a headset, mostly. Maybe missing something. I don't think so. Anyways... So it advertises, uh, what is it, 120 FOV, which is very high, but uh, some people question that. I don't know. I can't freaking measure FOV with my eyeballs, so I don't know. Uh, anyway, so another th couple things this has, it has the, you know, the slider, so you can adjust your lenses, and it has the, uh, you know, you can adjust distance and uh, but you can only you can you have to adjust the lenses both at the same time you can't do like individual lens adjustments so some people seem to not like that it's okay uh, I don't really have it makes it a little harder for me but it, it's it works fine the headphones I would actually uh, Say they sound about the, uh, the same as a mediocre twenty dollar pair of headphones. They're nothing amazing, but the whole headset itself I paid twenty five dollars for, and now I'm kicking myself in the ass because I just saw it for ten bucks. Uh, it was on eBay. <laughs> I tend to try to stay away from eBay, even if I could get a better deal. But it, the guy looked. It seemed like the guy was a really good seller. He had a really good score. And he, he was actually selling the headset with a Bluetooth controller that, that actually they advertise. And it was brand new. It was for 10 bucks. I'll put a link down there in the description for that. So you can actually get it for cheaper. Uh, but I paid $25. Uh, there is also a version of this without headphones. But I kind of... I don't see... Like, this is what I bought it for. And there are better headsets, I think, all around. There's a guy... Uh, VR Commando, he uh, he advertise. He's keeps recommending this one called the Fit VR. No, it's not a fitness thing. It's uh, you don't have to do Taekwondo, Tai Bo <laughs> in this thing. It's just a VR headset. Um, I'll, I'll I'll link you to his video in the description. I think he just released a new one of a revision of this headset, uh, which he said was better. Um, but if you like me, really like to have the built-in headphones. Um, this headset, I really like it. Um, I hate having to look for my headphones and having to look for a wire because my headphones have a, have a cable. They're Bluetooth and wired. So they have a cable you can plug into it or not. And if I go with Bluetooth, there's issues with Unity apps on my phone. And it causes garbled, slow audio. So I just use wired headphones, whatever. But then the wire gets in the way. I have to go find it. I'm lazy. And this is just like I plop it on my head and it's ready. The one I had before this was the Homito headset. And I also have some other shitty uh, when I made a video of it. Uh, Smart Theater, I think it's called. It's a very crappy $19 headset that I got from from Toys R Us. Um, it has terrible lenses, whatever. It's not about, this video is about this one. But compared to the Homito, I really like this one a lot better. 
miles better. And you can get it, like I said, you can get it for like 10 bucks. The home, you know, I paid way too much for compared to what, what's available today for a lot less money. Um, so the one you norm a lot of times will see on YouTube has this foam padding, this like, uh, actually it's like the one on the Homeido headset that I have. But this one, they revised it and it's leather. It's like a, a like a breathable leather. Um, it's really, it works really well. Uh, the old one I think was giving people problems, like literally like, uh, not a lot of people, but some people were getting uh, allergic reactions to it, I think. So um, I think they revised it because of that. So that's what I think. I don't know. I saw it on Reddit. <laughs> Somebody posted a link to it on Reddit. Um, but that's that. Uh, what was I going to say? Okay, so there's a touch button here. So you can tap the screen with this. Um, and for any supported applications, um, it will touch the screen and do whatever the developer made it do. Uh, then there's also a button for volume, changing the volume, and you can press it to answer a call. On Android, I did not have any luck getting this to work. I plugged it into my phone. I even tried to plug it into my tablet. I just plugged, there's a, uh, if I can get this to open, they have this. Just say, you plug this into your phone and uh, it gives you the, the audio through these headphones. Uh, and you're supposed to be able to control the volume. On Android, when I plug this in, I can't use this, it doesn't work. It does nothing. However, I have an iPad 2 and uh, I got it for free. Uh, but I had that laying around and I plugged this, this in there and it worked perfectly fine. So it seems to only work on iOS which I did not see that from anybody else mentioning that, uh, so I don't know. So if anybody has this and they're using it with Android, how the heck are you doing that? <laughs> uh, because it's not working for me. I've tried multiple Android devices and it only works on iOS. Um, so other than that, you can pull this foam out, by the way. This foam comes out. I'm afraid to do it because I'm worried I'm gonna rip it or break it, and I'd rather just wipe it down if I need to clean it. Um, yeah, so I think this has some kind of Velcro or something, but I don't know, it's changed, so I'm not sure what was done, so I'm, I'm afraid to touch it <laughs> like that. Um, so, oh, and inside here, there are these adjustable arms. I'll move them. I thought they, they had actually got rid of them with the revision, but they didn't. But I'll move them, see? They move, so once you put your phone in, you center it and everything. Sharpen. I didn't want to take a picture. I wanted the picture to sharpen. Anyways, so you have those two arms. They move, and then you can center the phone and then be done with it so you don't have to worry about uh, doing it again, which is normally a pain in the ass. I didn't have any problems seeing the middle of the screen, so a lot of times you see the, that white line in the middle of the screen, or you see the other screen from, like, you'll see the the left screen from the right eye just slightly and it'll cause a weird effect and this seems to actually block that from happening and, and doesn't cause any issues like that so um then these these uh these are adjustable so you can do that try to not have it so close so that it doesn't it, it doesn't get blurry and stuff and the strap is adjustable Really comfortable strap, uh, very uh, adjustable <laughs> or something. This adjusts, this adjusts, that adjusts, whatever. Um, so yeah, the lenses are really good quality. They, there's, I didn't notice any blurring around the edges. I did see the edge of my screen. Uh, like I said, I have a five inch phone. I'm sure it would be a lot better if I, if I had a bigger phone, if I had a phablet or something, but I do not have that. Uh, another extra thing that I got for $4 um, from Tiny Deal, uh, just in case, is this. This is a little uh, controller. It's actually like a little gamepad. You could even use it if you wanted for emulators. You can put it on your key keychain if you wanted and you know, do that. I, I, would, I didn't buy it for that. I bought it for, uh, for VR. 
Um, and basically, you hold this button down, put it in pairing mode, pair it with your phone. And uh, for VR, for the most part, you can also use the gamepad mode for supported games. Um, but for some games that use the touch screen, you know, use the touching mechanism or whatever, you can put this into key mode. It's called key mode. It's, there's a switch on the side. Then you hold start or power. It's both. It says start power and X at the same time. And it will go into the mouse mode. And you can move the mouse cursor with this. And then this acts as a click. So you put this in the corner of the screen where you can't see it. And then you just click this. And whatever is the action in the, in the VR app is what happens. And this, that was actually a very hard for, thing for me to find out when I had this. I didn't know how the hell to put it into mouse mode because the, the directions are so terrible. They're so poorly translated that they just make no sense. And I just took the directions and threw them in the garbage. And then I went online. I found out on Amazon how to do that. But this also works for volume. I think it's uh, this one. One of these is volume up and volume down. So that is... Um, Seeing as this volume thing doesn't work for me, I can use this if I want to change the volume. Um, and then, of course, you can just flip it like this and use it like a gamepad. You have like some simple controls or whatever. And it's rechargeable, so no batteries. But, yeah, that's a little extra thing I got on top of it. It works very well. In fact, it's better than using the built-in stuff on the, on the headset. If you, you know... If you like, feel like going and getting it, uh, it, you know, you turn it on, it pairs right away. It's not a problem. Um, so that's that. Uh, some really good apps that I used with that. Uh, the Somebody pointed this out to me, and I've seen it a million times and never tried it out until I saw him using it. And that was, like, I think it's called the Drogas Dive. Uh, it's, it's VR. Oh, God. It's a, it's like a, it's almost like a, a VR launcher, and it has like videos, 360 videos, and everything's tailored to VR so that you'll have a seamless experience in VR, with a few exceptions of some apps that I've used, where it's like, oh, now I have to take it out to uh, press this option, and, you know, that's another thing about good that's having a, bleh. that's another thing that's good about having a mouse. You can move it, and I normally squint with one eye so that I can see things clearer. Um, and then I just select the option with the mouse so I don't have to take the phone out of my headset. Works very well. I'm trying to slow down when I speak. I'm talking really fast. <laughs> Anyways. So. Yeah. There's this QR code in the back, too. It says gamepad. I don't know. Anyways, there's that. There's another. There's other options. Um, the one that looks like a, a nunchuck, like the Wiimote nunchuck, nunchuck, and that one's fairly cheap too. But yeah, that's this. This I like the 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 uh, optics. Uh, I had a good time using that, and um, I I really liked it. It's a big, big and heavy headset. And one thing I do want to say that's negative about it, after a little while, this did weigh down on my nose. And maybe I could adjust the strap to lighten up on that, but this did kind of bother my nose a little bit. It wasn't terrible. Um, also, uh, well, I'm not going to say anything negative, actually. Um, <laughs> this foam padding is really good, actually. Uh, never, It was fairly comfortable. The whole Mito that I have... I put that thing on my head and it stabs me in the nose. There's this piece of plastic under the foam because it's detachable. And it has this plastic that stabs you in the nose. And no matter how much modifying you do, it's always going to stab you in the nose. So that's that. And I would definitely say, especially if you can get this for 10 bucks, that's miles better than the Homido that I have. The lenses are bigger. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I, I never used it for any, um, for Vridge, the app that allows you to play Oculus games, but I did get something to make sure 
with this, you know, for Vridge, you normally have to plug your, your, uh, what is it, your headset into your computer. Of course, this isn't going to give you the length that you need. So basically, I got a, uh, just went to the dollar store, got an extension cable. And it was fairly long, and it works fine. Uh, I at least tried it with my Homido, and that worked just fine. But I can actually just plug this into the extension cable and plug that into my computer to get that. Or there's other things. There's, I forget what the hell is wire, something wire. There's something on the phone. It's live wire or something like that. And it basically streams the audio of your computer wirelessly to your headset or to your, your headphones or your phone, blah, blah, blah. And this way you wouldn't have to have a wire. However, there's too much delay for me, so I can't use that app for that. So, yeah. That's that. Uh, I think that's, that's really it. Um, I'll probably get back to using this thing. <laughs> Enjoying it. It's fun. So, thank you for watching. Listen.